Hello students, yet welcome to another session of Gyanon lectures powered by Wishback Technologies. And today we are going to learn about the global system for mobile communication that is also known as GSM. It is a digital mobile network that is extensively utilized by mobile phone users in most of the areas in the world. The system uses a variation of time division multiple access that is also known as TDMA. Now, talking about its theory, it mainly digitizes and compresses data, then transmit it down in a channel with two other streams of user data, each in its time slot. It works either at 900 MHz or 1800 MHz frequency band. The digital system can carry 64 kbps to 120 mbps of data rates. There are several cell sizes in GSM such as micro, macro, pico and umbrella cells. Each cell diversifies as per the implementation of the domain. Now we will look into the GSM architecture. The GSM architecture or system consists of different parts and these are as follows. These are mobile station, base station subsystem and network subsystem. Now the mobile station. It is the mobile phone that consists of a trans receiver, display and the processor and it is controlled by a SIM card operator over the network. Now the base station subsystem. It functions as the interference among the mobile station and the network subsystem. The base trans receiver station contains the radio trans receivers and controls the protocols for communication with mobiles. It also consists of the base station controller that operates the base trans receiver station and works as an interference among the mobile station and mobile switching center. Now network subsystem. It gives the basic network link to the mobile station. It is the basic part of the network subsystem. The mobile services switching center grants access to various networks like ISDN, PSTN, etc. Also, it consists of the home location registration and the visitor location registration that provides call routing and roaming capabilities of GSM. The equipment identity register mainly maintains an account for all the mobile equipment that is identified by its IMEI number. IMEI persists for international mobile equipment identity. Now we will talk about the features of GSM. The system has wide advantages and efficiency over any other system and these are as follows. It has improved spectrum efficiency, international roaming, cheap mobile sets based stations, establishment and high quality speech and agreement with integrated services digital network that is ISDN and other telephone company services. Also it has new services supportability. Now talking about security in GSM, although GSM was created as a secured wireless system, it can still undergo attacks. It uses authentication signatures such as challenge response authentication and pre-shared key that can come in the form of a password or key. There are a few cryptographic security algorithms that GSM employs and these are A5 by 1, A5 by 2 and A5 by 3 and three streams are cliffers that ensures that the user conversation is private. Also GSM practices GPRS that is a packet based communication service to transmit and receive the data. Now the services of GSM. GSM contributes much more than just voice telephony. GSM purpose three basic type of services and these are telephone service or teleservices and examples are voice calls, video text, short text messages, etc. The next one is data services or barrier services and the supplementary services. These services are additional services that are provided in addition to teleservices and barrier services. And these are conferencing, call waiting, call hold, call forwarding, call bearing, number identification, calling line identification presentation, calling line restriction, connected line identification presentation and restriction, malicious call identification, the advice of charge also known as AOC, closed user groups, CUGs and unstructured supplementary services of data. 
that is USSD. With this, we have come to an end of this lecture. And today we learned introduction to GSM, working of GSM system, GSM architecture, features of GSM, security in GSM, and with the services of GSM. We will continue our discussion in our next videos. Until then, rewatch and keep practicing all the previous videos if required. Thank you and goodbye.